Hi, I'm Kira Newton, and I'd like to show you three stretches that you should be doing for your hips. Um, let's go ahead and start with the frog, everybody's favorite. Frog is knees apart. I'm gonna go with the easier variation first. So I'm on my elbows. I'm not gonna over arch my back here. I'm just gonna stay neutral for now, and I'm gonna bring my feet together. Now, some of you will feel this right away, and you're just gonna hang out here. If you don't feel this right away, you're gonna push back with your hands while spreading the knees and drop the chest down. Now, from here, I like to think of pushing my butt forward as the knees come back. And you probably can't see that in the video, but you'll feel it. So I'm pushing and then release and see if you can go into the stretch a little bit more. Okay, so second variation. Feet apart, most people know this one. Stay neutral, try not to drop out in the low back. So a little tuck, and from here push back. The contraction on this one is pressing the knees down into the ground. So pushing down into the ground is gonna contract. And then when I release, I'm gonna push back. This is not my favorite stretch, as you can see. Third variation is lifting a leg. Now, I see this a lot where people are going to lift the leg and they'll really drive the body forward, which is fine, but if you can see, my hip actually isn't really rotating that much because this is staying on one plane. So I suggest that if you can, you try to stay back while rotating. So you're gonna find where the range of the hip rotation is. It's kind of a lot of work and then bring the foot up versus here. Very different movement. You'll feel it. You may not see it on the camera, but you'll definitely feel it because it's a lot of work. And after that, sit back and see if it's helped any. So the next thing we're gonna do is the lunge. Now everybody knows how to do the lunge for the most part, but a lot of people miss some of the finer details. So if I'm in a lunge, I wanna make sure that both hips are facing forward. And I also want to make sure that I'm exposing the hip flexor. So what I mean by that is I'm not hinging back. The hip is open and my pelvis is tucked. Um, for a lot of people, just squeezing their butt will do the trick. If you're a little more flexible, you probably will have to think of a pelvic tilt um, so more than just squeezing your butt. So tilt it for me, tilting up. Now, here, I don't want to drop into the low back. So stay nice and tall, chest up. This is the first variation because a lot of people will just feel this right away in this position. So this is the stretch for them. Or if you need to balance, just grab a block or two and just hold yourself there. So the next variation, because the person is more flexible, if they're an intermediate, is to put the foot in front of you a little bit more because you're gonna drop down. So again, I'm gonna tuck for me personally, I find it a little more effective if I contract and move. So I'm gonna contract and move through the contraction. Keeping the chest up, dropping, holding, and then coming down and see if I've dropped it all. And then I can do that again. Hold and drop. Now, the more advanced variation is gonna be elevating the foot. So this will get pretty intense. Same thing, putting it more in front of me. Getting my hips to be straight forward, tucking, and moving down. So the next variation is a, a few variations actually of the shin box. Um, so here, I'm sitting and I'm going to drop both knees to the side, which we call a shin box. It's actually called a lot of things, but I'm going to call it a shin box. And just dropping the body forward. Now, I know this is getting your hips, it's also getting your hamstring and all, all kinds of different things, but um, it's also beautiful in that it's a rotation of the hip joint. So stretching lots of things at the same time. So I'm gonna drop down, see if I feel a stretch, and come back up. 
If I don't feel a stretch and I'm comfortable in this position, then I'm going to open up the front leg. I'm going to drop down, see if I can align my sternum with my foot. And go back and forth. Sitting back a little, forward, and coming out of it. Third variation, I'm going to open up the leg and shift my hips forward and come down. Now, this is also gonna get your adductors in this situation here. So we've got hamstring, adductors, and piriformis with an internal rotation. So there's a lot going on here. Make sure you're careful. Shifting the weight back and forth. And coming up. So those are the three variations. Try them out. Leave us some comments and let us know what you think.